Prosecutors have formally charged a man with shooting and killing his two-year-old daughter. Sentinte Parks faces murder charges in the death of Khalees Brewer. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker is live in studio now with what we've learned about the charges. Ken. Brian and Sue, the Wyoming police chief called it one of the most tragic examples of gun violence she's seen in her career. But police still aren't saying what led, what led up to that. They do say it was not an accident. 26-year-old Parks, already on parole, is charged with open murder, discharging a firearm in a building causing death, being a felon in possession of a firearm, and two counts of felony firearm. The shooting that killed Khalees happened Wednesday evening in Parks' upstairs apartment on Meyer Avenue between Porter and 28th Streets in Wyoming. I cannot believe it. Khalees' mom, Cambria Brewer, told News 8 that she had dropped off her daughter at the apartment on Monday for a visit and was planning to pick her up Wednesday evening. But before that could happen, police say Park shot and killed the girl, then shot himself. He was hospitalized and is expected to survive. A paternity test confirmed that Parks was the father of the girl. A judge had ordered him to pay $167 a month in child support in December. The girl's mom told News 8 yesterday that he was upset about that, but not enough to make her worried about Kalisa's safety. Never, that's why I allowed her to go there, because I never, I never in a million years really expected him to hurt our child. Never, I never, I would never think in a million years that he would do this. I, I don't know, it's, it's no indication at all. Because if it was, I would have never let her go over there. Parks was on parole after his release from prison on a 2012 armed robbery conviction. He also has a history of weapons violations and domestic violence. At his arraignment today, a judge denied bond. The Kent County Sheriff's Department is now responsible for guarding him in the hospital until he recovers and is moved to the jail. Is this just a cowardly thing to do? I mean, beyond cowardly. Anybody who man. kills kids are beyond cowardly to me. Anybody who kills kids. Parks is expected in court February 23rd for a probable cause hearing, then March 2nd for a preliminary hearing to determine if he'll stand trial. If convicted of the murder or shooting causing death charges, he faces life in prison.